Good morning, Pioneers. I'm Joshua Christopher. Welcome to our second installment of PTHS TV. I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday morning. In today's episode, we'll be covering the football game against OP and the Dungeons and Dragons Club. We will get students' views on school lunches and in-person learning. To kick off the second episode of PTHS TV, we'll be talking to Mrs. Reed, one of our art teachers, about her time here since the opening of Patriot. Hey, do you prefer in-person or virtual school? And be honest. Well, whatever the case may be, we asked some of your fellow students here at Patriot which one they liked best. Let's take a look at what they said. Do you prefer in-person or online school and why? I prefer in-person school because I can hang out with my friends. It's more fun and interactive. And it's better than seeing a bunch of black squares. Um, I prefer online because that way I can cheat and school food is kind of bad. Um, personally, I think I preferred in-person school more. Um, online is nice sometimes because you, uh, you're not so distracted. There's not the time you have to transport to school, taking away from your homework. But in person, I feel like you just get better instruction from your teacher and you're able to be with your friends. So it kind of brings up your social morale. Um, I prefer in-person school because uh, with online, you don't really get that social interaction with people. And um, I feel like when you're in person, you get to communicate more. and learn better and you get to talk to teachers too. So, um, I prefer in person because you're in the classroom and you know there's a whole different environment and setting and it's just different being like physically in the classroom. Based on the students responses to a survey conducted in mid-September, 77% of students said they enjoyed sleeping in late during virtual learning. However, 88% admitted that they learned more effectively in person school. So you got crit? Because when playing Dungeons and Dragons, it might just help you out. Next up, we have an interview with the D&D Club sponsor, Mrs. Collis, and the Dungeon Master, Brennan Felix. Hi, I'm Riley Strasser, and I'm with Brennan and Miss Collis. We're going to be talking about D&D. Brennan, what is the premise of D&D? The premise of D&D is a role-playing, tabletop, paper and pencil classic game. It comes back from all the way from the 90s, and now that it's come over into the 2020s, I say it holds up quite well. And what's your favorite part about D&D? For me, as a seven-year veteran, I've been playing this game for quite some time, my favorite part of D&D is seeing young players grow and even veterans grow as they play through their adventures, as their DM leads them through this journey of sorts, seeing their characters grow and develop, and for the love of the game, I honestly have to say that that makes my spirit definitely very happy inside. And Miss Collis, what's some stigma that you would like to clear up about D&D? Well, I'm new to D&D this year, and one of the things that, one of the stereotypes that I brought into Dungeons & Dragons Club is that it's something that only guys do. Um, and I quickly realized that D&D is a club that is open to everybody, everybody enjoys it, everybody loves to play it, and there's just as many girls in that room as there are boys. If anyone's interested in joining the Dungeons & Dragons Club, they meet pretty much every Tuesday. Whether you love school food or not, this year lunches are free to all students. We recently organized an informal poll to find out the most popular lunches. The top three favorites are popcorn chicken, crispy chicken, and pizza sticks. This year we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary. Art teacher Miss Reed has been with Patriot from the start. Well, my greatest memory is sitting in the trailer waiting to be interviewed for this position. Um, and then once we, I found out that I got the department chair job for fine arts, um, we all met at the high school and got a tour of the building before it was open to the public. Um, the energy between all the faculty that attended that and who were newly hired, um, I feel like we've rekindled that spirit uh, this year with our 10th anniversary. So um, those are good memories. All those good memories are coming back. Um, I think growth, just having more students, that's what's changed, but really the teachers who want to be here, um, the ones who are passionate about what they're teaching, those teachers are still here. Um, other positive changes, just learning to be savvy with um, you know, technology and um, working as a team to, to help each other out. I feel like 
that's a unique um, gift that we have here at Patriot, that people are, staff members are, are willing to help one another more than maybe some other buildings. Pioneers faced off against Osborne Park High School on Friday, September 24th. Here are some highlights from the game. I hope everyone enjoyed PTHS TV's second episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in, but now we've got to tune out. Have a great day, Pioneers.